Hello everyone, welcome back on Instagram channel guys. I am Ramka Singh, Unity game developer, YouTuber and blogger. Friend, in last tutorial what we learned is that how you can install new Meta XR SDK and that was very simple if you have not watched so please go and watch and there is two SDK I have already told you in the last tutorial is one XR foundation and second one is Meta XR so both are different so currently we are talking about Meta XR basically uh, earlier it was a different kind of SDK uh, means all in one package currently they have divided in multiple and it's not compulsory that you install all the parts you can install on the basis of your requirement so in last part we explain that how you can install in today's tutorial what we are going to learn you have installed your sdks a very important thing is that you have to add controller like how you can move how you can rotate so currently we are explaining in meta xr so if you're new on the channel so please subscribe my channel and you can support me to join and please share with your friends and like the tutorial so that i can reach much more people like you let's start the today video okay so in this part what we are going to learn is that how we can keep a player and how my player will be just move on the basis of my joystick and how my player will be rotate on the basis of my joystick so for this uh, basically the structure of a uh, new sdk i have already explained that uh, in last uh, sdk uh, there was on oculus folder and everything was inside there in new sdk what they have done uh, there is nothing in the asset have to go in the package and in package here is the core and in core there is a few prefab very important prefab on the meta xr as well as oculus sdk so here are very important prefab you can just play Play around one by one i'm just going give my player so for the player i am giving my obr player controller and you can see here is one character controller so basically it perform like i just controlling the character and the good thing is about vr is that you have to go you have to know about the component you have to know about the prefab because sdk provide the component sdk provide the prefab and you have to explore you have to remove remember this setting if you are not able to perform this setting you have to not able to play this setting so you will be not able to implement so i have performed and on the ovr controller you can see there are very few uh, important point like character controller and here is the height as well as radius so you can play around according to your character you can add also your character in the future we will explore about that uh, that is the character controller not a physical character but it is a uh, just collider and here is the ovr player controller so it is a very important like we are giving the movement to our character so here are the few things uh, the important thing is that snap rotation so if you will on the snap rotation your player will just uh, rotate uh, very fastly means that is not a uh, user friendly i really personally i don't like it just off the snap rotation and all the other thing enable kneel linear movement so if you just off it the player will be not able to move but you have to just on it so that your player move and here is enable rotation so basically it is a rotation that player will be rotate slowly so you have to not just off it you have to just off this one and here is the few value like rotation amount so basically uh, this is directly connected to this uh, rotation so if you are value in it is very high so player will be rotated very fast so if you don't want to give lots of values you can just give one and you can check and on the basis of that you can give the value because 1.5 is very fast and that's it for the movement and rotation for the controller there is no any controller so if you want to give hand if you want to give controllers you can give in this video i'm just giving and let me explore the child here you can see forward direction and here is the important thing camera rig uh, left eye center eye right eye so in xr meta xr sdk they provide three camera so if you don't need all the camera so you can just on center eye uh, camera not left and right because it become a very expensive but you can check if there is any glitch so you can just on it because mostly i use center eye is the and center eye and basically this is the your head controller and here is the left and right controller so basically in the left anchor so what we have to perform we have to give prefab from here so you can see oh, we are custom hand prefab we want to give a hand so that user can feel natural so here you can see i've give and here is the hand and on the right control we have to perform same thing so here is the custom hand right and basically you have now both hand and when you will play you will create this apk or you will be just play using the oculus link so you will be able to move you will be able to rotate so currently i don't have my oculus quest 3 or meta quest 3 so in the future uh, i am going to buy uh, you can check by creating yourself your build so this will be work 100% so thanks for watching. Have a good day. See you in next video. And don't forget to like, subscribe and share.